Hey guys, good morning. I am dragging this morning. Sleeping has been a little bit of a challenge because of my knee when I'm when I'm not. It's weird, like when I'm not moving it, I just have it laid down. It just kind of kind of gets stiff, and it just kind of achy when I'm when I'm not moving it. But as soon as I start walking around or get on the bike, it feels better. Like loosens the muscles up or tendon or whatever is going on. So at at night, I have to like every time I move, like to flip over sides to sides. This back shoulder is sore from, from falling, so I can't stay on it very long, so I have to move onto my left side. But my left side, the hip, is is kind of sore, so I have to be careful like how I lay down, and then that's the side with the, the knee issue. Although, I, I think some of this is from the fact that I don't know how to carry the bike very well, so I've got a bruise right here, and I don't think that was from crashing. I'm a mess. I saw a picture that Clifton Races uh, posted and it had me run up the hill and the bike butt was like hiked up in the air and the saddle banging my head. So I've got to change my position, let the bike drop back uh, the way I'm holding it. So uh, something to work on because um, I'm definitely going to do more cycle cross. So today is the cross country course and it's 14 miles. I only rode half of it. I didn't ride the, uh, the single track portion um, so I have no idea what that's like. It rained a little bit last night, so hopefully the ground is a little bit better. Um, just looking around, it's still, it's still dry. Sorry I don't have the very beginning of this race. I don't know what happened to that video. It just wasn't on the card. So it starts at the hike and bike. I had gone up this climb and then descended down. You don't feel confident about going down something. All right, safe and steady. Hey, great courses, Clint. Thank you. My first cycle cross course, so it was the best one ever. <laughs> um, even my pre-ride only got halfway down because it was so steep. Um, so I ended up just walking it. I'm trying to clip in here and I can't clip in. Something's going on with my left cleat. I had stepped in a big ball of sap or something and it was just stuck in my cleat. And so I had to pull over and uh, clean out the cleat just so I could clip in. So this this is just this little climb. It just kind of rolls up and down. And um, sorry that the video is so shaky, but it the ground was just all tore up and it was very bumpy. In some places it was washboardy. I thought this was the area where I had crashed and so I got off the bike thinking this is where I crashed and it actually wasn't. Um, but it was again just shifting. You're going to hear me complain about that a lot. Another washboardy section. That's why the video is so jumpy. And then right here was actually the section I had uh, crashed. It doesn't look that bad but it's really slippery. And you can see the mountain biker there. He slipped in there. Um, that's where I had slipped actually the day before and crashed. This area right here is a big fire road. It was really powdery. Um, it wasn't sand, it's hard to explain. It's just really powdery and soft. Uh, I start catching uh, one of the riders. Now that mountain biker, he was able to get through this whole area really quickly, but as soon as it flattened out and I was able to put on the power, you can see off in the distance, uh, I start making gains on him and catch him. So I start using him as a carrot to catch him and pass him. This guy was walking because it doesn't look that steep, but it's actually pretty steep. And so this is mountain bike guy. And mountain bike guy keeps looking back. We're actually not really racing against each other because I'm racing this, the cycle cross guys and he's racing the mountain bike guys, the XC guys. So as soon as the terrain goes down and, and you know he's able to corner and move through this shifty uh, gravel, a lot better than I can. He's able to get ahead, which is what he did when I was you know, walking. But as soon as it goes up and it flattens out a little bit, I'm able to get the power back on. It's just any technical bits, he would put gains on me. So I, I catch him and I pass him. He actually stayed with me for a while and he sat on my wheel. I wish I had a back camera um, and stayed pretty close. I think the last climb out, I ended up just kind of going hard. Like, I don't have anybody to race, but we're racing each other anyway. And um, he popped. 
But then he recovered after this uh, descent back into the ranch and um, he hopped back on my wheel. This goes past the ranch and we're gonna go to the uh, other hike and bike portion of the cycle cross course from the day before. So this is this whole run up the hill again. Now this is where mountain bike guy is able to ride that top section and was able to get around and pass me. And so I'm trying to chase him because I need that carrot, but he was just able to maneuver so much better. Look, there's like these little jumps and stuff and I'm on a cycle cross bike. So it's just, everything is super bumpy. I did manage to pass some people and then I also got passed by uh, some other mountain biker. I got passed by one cycle cross guy. Um, but it's just, the whole thing is just very slippery, very bumpy. And so again, that's why the video is so bouncy. I'm on a, using a, um, a Hero Session 5. I think I need to upgrade to something a little bit better. This guy tries to let me go and, and he falls off his bike. Um, it's just a really tight single track. So there's another um, mountain biker guy passing me. So I, I will spare you like the entire race because it's just so bumpy and twisty and slippery. So it wasn't terribly fast. Uh, after I got out of the single track section, uh, I was able to open it up and put on the speed. Then it goes back into the cycle cross section, which you saw in the other video. And if you didn't, I'll put a link in the uh, description below. There's Clint again. And I sprinted for the finish and made it across the line. Okay, so finished. 14 miles, I'm thinking road, I'm thinking, well, it's gonna be like 50 minutes or so. It was almost an hour and a half. I have to look. Luckily, I always bring more food than I need. So I took a gel before I went and I took two gels out on the course. <sighs> um, I mean, it was fun, but the course was, was technical. It, it should, it's better on a mountain bike. It wasn't really, like gravel was tough. I have no idea where I placed. Probably top 10 again. Uh, there's certainly not a podium. I was holding really good power. I was going really hard on the climbs. I was in the low mid 300s on the climbs and uh, sometimes more for some of the punchy stuff and then i would just uh, settle in and try to stay just kind of flow through it when you're constantly on and off and going through corners you're, you're just on and off the gas so there's no real consistent power but whenever there was uh, a big stretch where i could really put on the power i, I was you know i'd sit around 90 percent 95 percent hope you enjoyed it i gotta get something to eat uh i'm tired I mean, like my back was hurting because there's so much where you're just descending and you're sitting up and your butt's hanging off of the, uh, the, the saddle and there's no suspension on a cyclocross bike. So my arms were hurting, back was hurting. It was hard, it was really hard. Can't wait to see what the GoPro footage looks like. I I, I walked a few sections, there was these, there's these there's these little dips, kind of like these V's. And I've learned that on the gravel bike, you can ride them, but you gotta jack up your bike and you could break something. I've, I've hit those when you like come down and like you let go your, make sure you're not holding any brakes and you go. And I've just hit the bike and go bam, or it hits on your, everything just, it just sounds wrong. So like whenever I see those now, I'll just go like, screw it, I'm walking. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, really really going to try to get more more videos out <laughs> i keep saying that every time i post videos bye